Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, we're very excited to have with us today Brian Overby, um, a senior options analyst for Trade King, who's been in the financial industry since 1992 with a background in market making, retail brokerage, and investment banking. Prior to joining Trade King, he founded Financial Coaching, an investor education company. Brian also served as an option trading specialist with Charles Schwab, a senior staff instructor for the Chicago Board of Options Exchange, and managed the training department for one of the world's largest market makers, Knight Trading Group. Over the span of his career, Brian has performed um, over a thousand webinars worldwide on options trading and authored the Options Playbook. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Brian. Thank you. Yes. Well, thank you very much for that nice introduction. And I, I have the controls now, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll try to use the, the PowerPoint that we have here, but I can also share my desktop. Uh, thank you very much for that great intro. Uh, I do also want to uh, cover a couple of things before we get started. Uh, in the Q, if you notice in your tab, there is a Q&A tab. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to type them in. Uh, we're going to try to address as many as possible. I might save them to the end, though. Um, I've done this seminar on the Greeks almost as many, uh, probably more times than, than anything that I've ever done before. So I, I, I've kind of addressed a lot of the questions that I'll probably receive throughout the presentation. Um, but I do also want to say that if you want a copy of uh, this PowerPoint, if you send me an email to the options guy, uh, and that email is going to be at the very end of the presentation, it's T H E options with an S guy at tradeking.com. I'll gladly send you a PDF of my slides and also answer any questions that you might have that I couldn't get to during the seminar. Okay, so with that said, let's, let, let's get started. We have, first of all, a disclaimer to talk about. Options involve risk. They're not suitable for all investors. Uh, there is a link, uh, www.tradeking.com slash ODD. This is the options disclosure document. Uh, please read before trading options. It actually has some good information in there. Uh, also want to say we're going to talk about volatility. We're going to talk about the Greeks today. Uh, none of these things, these are all indications as to what the marketplace might do, but it's not always a guarantee as to what it's going to do. And then also any strategies or examples that I use today are strictly for illustrative and educational purposes only and are not constructed as an endorsement recommendation or solicitation to buy or sell securities. All right, all said and done. Okay, so uh, this is a big slide to just toss out there, but Bottom line is this is the Black-Scholes pricing formula. Uh, it's the first model that was ever used to price an option contract. And uh, this is just a, a simple version of it. But if you look at uh, what Fisher, Black, and Myron Schultz basically said is if you give me these five variables, uh, the current price, the strike price, the continuously compound risk-free interest rate, the dividend yield, uh, the rate of time to expiration, and uh, also the volatility of the underlying, we can give you a starting point for the price of your option contract. So in our example here, we actually have all these different variables. And you see that if you put all that in, at the very end it spews out a price and says the option theoretically is worth $2.78. Now, when I look at this, this also means to me that all of these different variables can affect the price. So what the options pricing model actually does is it goes in and uh, uh, gives you things that are called the Greeks that will say, okay, if the stock price moves, how much will that affect my option? 
If I go in and I change interest rates, how much will that affect my option? If implied volatility moves, what does that do to the option? And it singles out each and every one of these variables. Now, uh, here we have the definition of the Greek. I have them all laid out to us. We're going to go in more detail on these as we go through them. But uh, these are the, the textbook definitions of all the Greeks that are available to you. Now, I also want to say that today I'm not going to go in and just talk about definitions. What I really want to do in this webcast is to address how you can use your Greeks when you are trading your option contracts. And specifically today, we're going to use examples that are based on the currency options that are traded on the International Securities Exchange. So if I look at all of the, the different Greeks that are available, we're going to grab the Greek that is very pertinent to a strategy, and then we're going to talk about how that affects the strategy. Now, a lot of people like to go and look at the Greeks and say, gee, how do I look at the Greeks and how, how do I determine risk using the Greeks? I heard this term delta neutral. What does that mean? Well, we're going to talk about those things, but those are really market maker terms. Now, as far as retail investors are concerned, the Greeks are extremely important, and it's very important to understand which one of the Greeks is driving your strategy at, at any point in time. So that's our main goal today. But uh, here's a quick recap of, of what the Greeks are. Uh, if we look at the delta, delta is how much your option should move. Now, all these are in a theoretical world for a one-point movement in the underlying stock. Gamma, delta is so important that it actually got its own Greek, and that's actually called gamma, and that's the rate of change of delta. Every time the stock moves a dollar, delta is a dynamic number, and it will move with it. How do we track that? We use gamma. Theta is the amount of uh, options price will change for a corresponding one unit, one day change in the days to expiration. Now, theta can sometimes be a seven-day theta, but usually they'll state it if it's seven days. Um, and then also we have Vega. Vega is the amount uh, theoretical options price will change for a one-point change in implied volatility. And I always like to call uh, Vega the Rodney Dangerfield of the Greeks. It just doesn't get the respect it deserves. It, uh, is a very, uh, it can be a very, very big part of trading options. And then Rho is uh, the one that, that deals with interest rates, uh, and that's the interest rate component you saw in the Black Shows model. Rho is a big deal if you like to trade like leap options or at a spe specifically at the money leap contracts. They'll have a very big fluctuation in interest rates because it really deals with cost to carry and uh, longer term options have more exposure to carry costs than shorter term options. All right, so let's go on in and define these one at a time. Uh, so now if I, if I go in and I look at looking at some of the questions. Um, if I look at uh, delta, delta is the amount an option's theoretical price will change for a corresponding one unit, or in our world, point change in the price of the underlying security. So I have a very quick example for us. Um, let's say we have a stock that's at 50 and the strike is 50, and we have a three-month call option, and we look at that three-month call option as trading for $3. Now. The big question here, if we look at this, is if that stock were to go from 50 and we're a really good stock picker and boom, the market's open, everything's rocking, and the stock goes instantly from 50 to 51, makes a big jump up, what would we expect our call option to move? What do you think that call option would be trading for? Now, obviously I can't do this, uh, I, I can't see all the show of hands live out there, but um, what I would like you to do is just think on your own and, and try to answer that question. Um, if I look at, at this option contract, what exactly would, would this option be trading for if the stock moved from 50 to 51? And the answer is, is that it should be moving for about 350. Um, another correct answer should be that it would move for about whatever the delta is in this case. And in this case, the delta was fairly close to 50. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. 
ISC FX options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.